So, I'm becoming a bit of a non-fiction girly, I won't lie. Um, if you don't know me, I predominantly read fiction, fantasy, romance and thrillers. And that's pretty much been it for like the past year of my life. Um, however, recently I have found myself in a bit of a self-help, personal development, non-fiction era. Um, and I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm finding a lot of the things in non-fiction books are actually really relatable. Sorry, I've just realised I've had ambience on in the background this whole time. So if you heard the ambience, I'm sorry. But yeah, so I'm actually finding them really relatable. I used to think that they were just like predictable and like boring because it's real people speaking about real experiences. However, recently I've been really into them. So I'm currently reading Good Vibes, Good Life by Bex King. I have had this book for years probably about three years now and i started reading it i got about halfway in i think um when i first bought it but i just wasn't getting the good vibes that i needed from it like it just wasn't for me at the time but then again i was a lot younger when i first bought this book i don't think i was ready then for my personal development non-fiction era um, but now I started reading it a couple of days ago and I'm nearly finished it. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've got a lot of annotations. I'm just really enjoying it. Honestly, yeah, this is going to be like five stars for me. I just really like it. I've got about 30 pages left of this one. And I'm feeling like I want to read more non-fiction, more self-help, personal development over the next few days. So... I recently bought the next book by Vex King. This is called Healing is the New High. And I'm sorry, but these books just look so good together. It's beautiful. Um, so I feel like I might read this one after I finished that one. Um, I also recently bought someone from my law course recommended this book. And it's called Quiet Power by Susan Cain. And it says, growing up as an introvert in a world that can't stop talking... I feel like this is going to be really good, actually. Really, like, I don't know the word. I'm not intellectual enough to describe these books. What is the word? Like, really insightful, maybe? Sure, we'll go with that. Um, But, yeah, I feel like I'm quite an introverted person. I don't know if I come across as introverted on my, or in my videos. I feel introverted um, in real life situations and I just feel like this book is going to be really good for me and it's not that long either it is let me see it's 234 pages so that is not long whatsoever also a lot of non-fiction books are white I'm just realizing that now also I've had this book that's annoying I've had this book for a while as well, and this is 101 Essays That Will Change The Way You Think by Brianna Weist, 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 W-I-E-S-T, sounds German, not sure though. Um, but yeah, I've had this for quite a while, I've been wanting to read it for ages, but again, I wasn't in that, that non-fiction era yet. But this one is a bit longer, this one is 441 pages, quite a bit longer, but... Yeah, I really want to read this one too. I'm just feeling like I want to, like, better myself. And these non-fiction books are helping me do that. I've also got two more on the way, um, which are Why Has Nobody... No. Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before? I forgot the author's name, but I'll put a picture up and it'll be here in a couple of days anyway. So I'll show you it. And also How To Win Friends and Influence People by... I forgot again but the picture will be up um so I also have those two coming so I have these four and the other two and this is what I'm going to be reading over the next few days so 
really strange coincidence. Literally right after I filmed that clip, Sophia texted me with a picture of this book saying that she thinks I should read it. And I was like, I'm just about to read it. Like that that was a really, really strange coincidence. Like it was really weird. Anyway, so Sophia recommended that I read like one or two of these a day and not try to like read it as a proper book because it can, can get quite boring she said so I think that's what I'm gonna do just start reading one or two per day and see how I feel here's the thing it's a few days later now <laughs> I think I think the last time I filmed was Friday and it's now Monday um I had a ball a law ball on Saturday and then I went out on a night out after Yesterday I was really hungover, so I didn't read or film anything for the past two days. But today I'm back. So um, I'm currently reading Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I'm still on my non-fiction hype. I'm still in my non-fiction era, but I did want to just pick up Love and Other Words. Um, I'm currently 93 pages into it. I am enjoying it so far, but honestly, I still prefer, or I say still, I currently prefer josh and hazel's guide to not dating like i was gripped with josh and hazel's guide to not dating within the first chapter this i'm on chapter well they don't have chapter numbers but 93 pages in and i'm just not feeling the same way i'm still really enjoying it i'm just not feeling the same way as i was with josh and hazel's guide to not dating so we'll see what that's about we'll see if that carries on um but yeah i'm gonna finish this and then i'm going to pick up a new non-fiction book and I feel like I'm going to finish this either today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow, um, because I just read um, these authors' books so fast. Last night I read for less time than I thought. By the way, today is Thursday. I've skipped a few days again, I know, I'm sorry. But I'm on page 197 now of Love and Other Words. I don't think I even said what it's about. Um, so this is basically about a girl called Macy and a guy called Elliot. And they were basically like childhood best friends. She, her and her father um, had this like cabin in a different town to where they lived. And they would go up to the cabin on like weekends and holidays and Elliot lived next door and they basically became like best friends and it's basically on two timelines following them when they were younger and now because they've just run into each other after not seeing each other for 11 years and we're basically gonna find out why they stopped speaking for 11 years like what happened um, and I think I'm nearly at that part now and I am really excited. I am really enjoying this book, like, and just some of the quotes, like, Christina Lauren's writing is, like, there's just so many quotable lines in their books. Um, yeah, I am really enjoying it. Again, I'm still not feeling that same, like, I don't know, with Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, I was just, like, I don't know, it's just different. I'm still really loving it. But I really, really loved Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, so it's hard to beat it. But we'll see by the end. I am going to aim to finish this today um, because it's 9am and I've got nothing to do for the rest of the day. So I might as well just read this. <laughs> I just finished Love and Other Words. I just sobbed. Like, I just sobbed at the last... 20 30 pages probably about 20 oh my god i take it all back what I, what I was saying before how i wasn't like loving it this book was really good i didn't i was not expecting to cry at all but yeah i sobbed um i think i'm gonna give it 4.5 stars 
it's not I don't think it's quite a five for me just because through the first like 250 to 300 pages I was not like in love with it so I don't think I can give it five but it's definitely 4.5 it was really good I did not expect to cry but obviously there was a happy ending so it was fine um but yeah I really really liked this book here's the thing I'm in a reading slump I can't help it I'm in a slump so I'm gonna end this video soon instead of reading I'm gonna reorganize my entire bookshelf and the ones in the other room just to hope that it inspires me to get out of a reading slump um I'm gonna do a 24 hour readathon with the girlies tonight um so I'm gonna put that in a different video but yeah I'm gonna reorganize my bookshelves and hope that it inspires me to get out of a slump I'm not going to film it because I've already got a bookshelf reorganisation video and I don't want another one right now, so pray for me. Okay, so I am going to end this video here because I'm going to start another one with a 24-hour reading vlog. This has been like over almost two weeks, I think, because I just haven't been doing that much reading, but that's okay. I'm determined to get out of a slump within the next few weeks, Um, but yeah. Sorry if this video has been chaotic or boring. If you made it this far, well done. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.